basically, um, I mean, the purpose of my project is to sort of look at the development of uh, the saxophone solo, like this idea of the wailing tenor solo uh, in a lot of, I mean, you see it in rock music, a lot of early rhythm and blues and before the rhythm and blues that were the race charts. It's kind of tracing the development of this style, this very unique style of playing the tenor saxophone, starting with uh, this first recording of a saxophonist named Illinois Jaquette, who played on this song, uh, Flying Home, with the Lionel Hampton uh, Orchestra. I was researching Dexter Gordon, sax player from the 50s and played into the 80s. He was pretty much the first bebop sax player, or bebop tenor sax player, to take the language that Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and all those guys um, kind of developed and then put that on the tenor saxophone. But he, what I was mainly studying was his rhythmic development from different style of areas um, throughout his entire career. Dexter Gordon was also uh, in the Lionel Hampton band when Illinois Jaquette had his big solo uh, that really kickstarted not only his own career, but in a lot of ways, just this idea of the rhythm and blues like honk and wail and screech and tenor saxophone. Illinois gave Dexter a bunch of tips and critiques, so Illinois Jaquette was one of the biggest influences on Dexter's playing, just because he was one of the first big guys to be playing with. I had done a bit of transcription before, but it was pretty hard to start off with. I mean, uh, to hear something, and it's, it's really frustrating because you, you, you listen to one lick uh, and you have to figure out, you know, what's being played. When I started this summer, I was a decent transcriber, but now it's a lot faster and a lot easier. I, um, there's a lot of things you pick out. You don't have to listen to note for, or every note for itself. You listen to the groupings of notes and the way it sounds. The research really doesn't end, and we, the way we tie it off is just by opening it up even more by other players I, can, players I can study, and really just learning the whole language like of jazz and bebop. So much of the style is really it's soul, it's so it's soul and it's heart and it's uh, the spirit of the playing. It's just a really fun, inspirational, you know, trying to get people up there and dancing. It's not really so much about trying to impress anybody. It's really just. You know, it's playing your heart. It's really neat how, uh, I guess, the style was able to withstand the test of time uh, and how it's still, you know, relevant uh, and resonates with folks today.